it's TCK and welcome back to the Bramble Channel. It is the Tuesday directly after Halloween and so I kind of want to talk about a topic that ties into that. This week I want to talk to you about something that's very complicated and also related to Halloween. So I'm going to be talking about cultural appropriation, Halloween, and how it also ties into the TCK identity. Now, cultural appropriation is a very complex topic, and I'd just like to say that I'm not an expert in this area, and I'm just here to share my experiences, my perspective, and the way that I view myself with cultural appropriation, which is a very complicated relationship that I'm still trying to work out. So, very quickly, I just wanna say that Halloween itself, as well as a lot of other holidays that we celebrate have elements of cultural appropriation embedded into them. And these were very strategic to bring different cultures together, mostly to convert pagans to Christianity. But that's beside the point. Halloween itself is completely cultural appropriation. So Halloween was a pagan celebration to celebrate the midway point between fall and winter and basically it was also seen as the day that the veil between this world and the next was the thinnest which is why the pagans would make large bonfires and dress up in costumes to scare away wandering spirits so that was just my little nerd side note about halloween and cultural appropriation Okay, so first I'm going to give you just the quick definition of cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation is the adoption of elements of one culture by members of another culture. So this means that Halloween costumes that refer to other cultures that are not your own and that are inappropriately represented is cultural appropriation. And I'd just like to say that I am completely behind that idea. We should not be belittling other cultures by making them into costumes. I think that is unfair to make a joke out of someone else's life. So the tag behind that idea is culture, not a costume. And that kind of ties into the TCK identity because as for me, I've always referred to the way I blend into other cultures as putting on costumes. And even in what's supposed to be my own culture, the American culture, I view myself as playing a part. And in a way, I'm appropriating my own culture. It's very difficult to distinguish sometimes in certain circumstances where one culture ends and another begins. For the instance of Halloween, Halloween has been a celebration in our culture for a very long time. So at what point is it no longer cultural appropriation? At what point is Easter or even parts of Christmas not cultural appropriation? So with this gray area, in comes the TCK identity and tourism. Tourism is an essential piece of the economies of many, many countries. I am not at all saying that we should stop buying tourist things. They are memorabilia of great trips, great memories, beautiful places, beautiful times, and I totally understand that. As long as you are appreciating those items for what they are, and also that you have some kind of knowledge of where they come from, what it means to that culture, both socially, traditionally, and culturally, then, yeah, I think it's okay to have those items. Okay, so in comes my identity as a third culture kid. When TCKs go to new places, we adopt all kinds of things, including languages, accents, ways to dress, mannerisms, the way that we do social interactions, the different celebrations that we participate in. And my question is, is all of it cultural appropriation? And if we continue to do some of those things outside of that culture because we've been doing them so long that they make us comfortable, that we feel it's a part of our culture, 
is that cultural appropriation. So being a third culture kid, my culture is in between the cultures of my passport country and my parents and the host countries and cultures that I have lived in. And with that gray area, in comes the gray area of cultural appropriation. So what do I mean by that? I mean that I adopt parts of other cultures, including from my own passport culture, in order to fit into those cultures. If we are members of another culture adopting elements of other cultures, wouldn't that be cultural appropriation? And at what point is it our culture? At what point does cultural appropriation stop? So I haven't really answered any questions in this video. I think I've really just created a whole lot more questions, but that's a good thing because I want to open up the conversation about cultural appropriation because it's not black and white, it's not simple, and there's a lot of different identities that have a lot to say about this topic. Yes, culture is not a costume, but what if costumes is your culture? What does that mean with cultural appropriation? That's all I have for this TCK Tuesday. It was a very complicated issue, so I would really appreciate some comments. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter at TCK Rambles, and you can also check out my blog that I post to you three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I will see you next week back here on the Ramble Channel. Bye!